Howdy folks, you ever buy a tool from Harbor Freight and you regret it? I'd love to get some comments below. <laughs> if there's a tool you bought from Harbor Freight, this is from Harbor Freight, uh, that you regret buying. And uh, I'm gonna show you the biggest blunder I ever made from Harbor Freight. And no, it's not this meter. This meter was only about $24. It's from Harbor Freight. It's got good function. It's got a really good readout on it. That's easy to, you know, read. As a meter, I was kind of like, ah, it's Harbor Freight, ah, you know, but uh, it was actually okay. But let's take a look at something that uh, I should never have, should never have purchased it. Just, it was just wrong. <laughs> what is it? Let's find out. <laughs> So what was my uh, big waste of money? Uh, here it is right here. 20 years ago I bought this and it has been just a disappointment the whole time. And I just thought, I would buy, they still sell this at Harbor Freight to this day, but I want to show you a couple of things with a tape measure. This is seven by 10. And you know, if you don't check it right there at the store, you might even run into it and say, whoa, wait a minute. You mean if I have something that's eight inches in diameter, it will not fit into this machine? Like, yeah, it will not. The seven inches is divided by two. Basically, it's the it's the diameter of something that could go in here. So you're at three and a half inches center to the bed. Yeah, total of seven inches. So you really you sort of like just barely have seven inches on that dimension. Now it gets worse. Coming this way, that ten inches takes you off the end of the bed of the lathe here. So you really don't have ten inches of work area. In fact, if I measure it from the jaw here, where I have something, say, in the jaw, up to the live center, which I have back here, I've got seven. This thing is like little, seven by seven, really. It's not really seven by 10. Well, uh, I, in terms of lathe, it is, it is 10 inches, but that's the end of the bed. It's like, so you're not really getting what maybe you think you're getting. The biggest problem, besides the size and all the rest of it, there's plastic gears in the back here. Yeah, you heard right, plastic gears and the the motor is weak it's not a strong motor so you're not you don't have a lot of power in the chuck so if you try to cut something a little too much this will actually i've had this stall out i don't know how many times where it just stopped and the motor hummed because it didn't have enough power to uh, actually cut metal so as a lathe this thing is uh, is pretty crappy you have very little room here you're going to have to buy uh you're going to have to buy your bits and find them sometimes. They're a little hard to find at times, and sometimes the store has them, sometimes they don't. I also bought a, a little uh, centering tool back here so I could do longer shafts, but that led to the next problem. Uh, in this case, I was trying to look at stuff that was like a, you know an inch, inch and a quarter in diameter, won't fit in the chuck, and the chuck can't handle it, or you can just barely get it into the, the actual jaws, but you can't get it all the way into here because, again, the chuck is very small, and it's a three-jaw chuck, there's a, a hole back here which should come through, and it does, but that's for like really small stuff. It, you can't stick, you know, like a three quarter inch piece of line, it's not gonna come through. It'll stop because the holes back here don't handle this size for this chuck is just too small. Quick cover on that one, yeah. And the, the Mickey Mouse of the whole thing with the plastic gears and all the rest of it, you know, it's kind of a, they're kind of a lot of money, sort of. Uh, this was only $4.99 when I bought it. It was on a sale at that time. I think I had a coupon or something, you know, at the time. And I really wanted the, uh, at that time they had a 7x14 model. That was the one I was after. They didn't have it and they couldn't get it in or something. And so I ended up saying, okay, well, let's take the 7x10. We took it back to the shop where I was working at the time and was like, well, we'll see if we can work with it. And it was, it, did the trick at that time we were cutting some small stuff kind of like this idea we're you know working on something small but uh, after that the, the lathe just was a letdown over and over and over again it would have been a, a better wood lathe than a metal lathe so this was a huge waste of money because uh, I can't use it it's just not big enough I tried selling it a few times uh, you know locally and I could not get rid of it nobody seemed to have any interest in it and it's still so it's still with me and I still keep looking at, I'll show you there's a, a longer bed you can get aftermarket, but the problem with the longer bed is it doesn't resolve the, the problem here with the chuck size. The, uh, it, doesn't it does not fix the uh, power. You don't, have, you, know, you don't have more cutting power or something because you've got a longer bed. So you still have this sort of like, this end is 
you know, it is what it is, and you're just not going to be able to fix that unless somebody, you know, comes out with something else. I was thinking uh, in the long term to keep the $500 in my pocket, go to a yard sale and find a South Bend, Cincinnati, or somebody's hobby lathe bigger than this that's used for sale would have been a much better buy in the long run than buying something like this. So I wanted to share that with you guys, but I want comments, you know, so did you ever buy something at Harbor Freight and just say, man, I regret I ever bought that darn thing, you know, that's, that's what the topic is for this today. <laughs> yeah. All right. I can have a coffee. Mm. Mm. That was the tool I think with the most regret. And today, just for fun, I thought, be nice to hear from some of the viewers and just let us know what what tool did you buy that uh, that you have the most regret over and hopefully tools that are somewhere in that you know a couple hundred dollar range or whatever it was that it cost and end up sitting in the garage like that and virtually you can't almost can't use it it's just unusable uh, it's not a complaint to the company or the store it's just something that you said you know I really shouldn't have bought that but anyways I'd love to hear some stories from that in the comments below and uh, it doesn't have to be from Harbor Freight it could be from the big box stores too or you know at once upon a time places like Sears that used to sell Craftsman <sighs> the good old days they're gone anyway uh, we've got this is Thursday <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so we draw and we're drawing for the laser level from Sigma, the easiest machine to use I've ever seen. It's, it's a nice, un, uncomplicated, simple enough device to use and it gives great results. And uh, we really enjoyed having this here. I love it. I'm thanking Sigma so much for sending this over to us so we could check it out. This is the sort of thing that's, you know, cool. Anyway, the uh, I will provide a link in the description below, supplied by Sigma. Should have uh, some kind of a discount code or something attached to that, which will get you some money off of it if you're interested in one of these. Uh, my brother-in-law tried to run off with this thing because uh, he liked it that much, you know, yeah. Anyway, we've got several hundred tickets in the bucket and, you know, I'm stir them up and put somebody's name and we're shipping you a laser level. Whoops, where we go? And let's see if it's going. I'll bet you it's going to Canada this week, but, uh, Ah, no way. <laughs> Scott, you are in Utah and you are in Mount Bountiful. Is that really a place? I'm going to look that one up before we ship it, Scott. But if that's where you live in, Mo in Utah, wow, wait. Cool. You're getting the laser level. Lucky you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, Keith wants to borrow it for a couple of weeks off you, so, you know, he's over in uh, New Hampshire, so he's not too far away, you know. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that, right, guys? <laughs> okay. Now, we get this thing off. Let's do next week, next Thursday, we got to draw. We're going to draw for something, but we got to do this just a little bit, tiny bit different, but it shouldn't be, it, it hopefully, I had to sit down and think about how to do this, so we got to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna need. We're gonna do five names from the bucket to put their names in. This from between now and next Thursday. The email box is all cleaned out, so I want you to email ctrewards at gmx.com. In the subject line, you write shirt, S H I R T, and then in the body of the email, just your name and address, and then underneath that in just put it in there uh, what size of t-shirt you take, whether it be small, a medium, a large, or an extra large. And uh, what we'll do is we'll draw the five names, but we'll try to, we're gonna make sure that we have the size right for you. So if you win a t-shirt and you say it's a, I take a large or something, I will send you a large t-shirt. It'll be the blue one with the YouTube and coffee and tools on it. And we'll get that out to five uh, people that uh, put their names in for it. So that's a different draw. <laughs> A little different, you know. <clears throat> we are starting to get back on our feet from that other mess fiasco we had a couple of weeks ago with uh, Amazon and links and everything else. So I th I'm sort of glad that's back on track and uh, YouTube is looking back on track too. So we had quite a few different problems this week. Uh, if you put your name in today and you were living in Florida, I was concerned because uh, Hurricane Ivan looks like it, or Ian, just, uh, not pretty at all. Anyways, uh, 
Of course, my friend in Nova Scotia tells me he's still out of power up there from, uh, was that Hurricane Fiona? I think he's uh, still in shock, too. <laughs> he's like, that's too cold. It won't come up here. Yo, yes, it will. <laughs> anyway, thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools this week. And please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you can, you know, get in on these draws. And Monday, we have a brand new tool to review. And, uh, and next Thursday, of course, a t-shirt giveaway, and we'll have another We'll have another tool, I believe, that we'll be doing a giveaway on next Thursday. So, yeah, but uh, t-shirts are going to be cool. Thanks for watching. Over and out.